Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Now I keep seeing all this stuff online about the pluses and minuses of top wrapping your guitar strings on guitars like Les Paul's SGs, guitars with a stopped tail piece and a tunematic style bridge. Instead of reading where other people are giving all their opinions, and believe me, there's quite a lot of this, what I thought I'd do in today's video is just to see what the difference is and to see what sounds better. So what I'm gonna do in today's video is to try the traditional way which is as Gibson intends by stringing through your stop tail piece over the tunematic bridge and also top wrapping, which loads of guitar players are yelling about the benefits. And also what I'm gonna do in today's video is to have a look at this. This is the Lightning Stop Bar. Lightning Guitars are a company that are based near me and I thought I'd get in contact with a few local guitar luthiers, builders, parts builders, that sort of thing to help support the local community. And Lightning have sent me this, which is their age version of their Lightning Stop Bar. Now, the thing that makes this really interesting is what this enables you to do is instead of top wrapping your guitar strings, which can cause some problems, it enables you to string up your Les Paul or Les Paul style guitar in the traditional way. They do two different versions of this. They do a new version, which is perfect for your non-aged Les Paul or Les Paul style guitars. And they also do a pre-worn, which is perfect for my sort of style of guitar, which is a, a Gibson Custom Shop, but it's got the VOS finish. So all of the parts are aged. If I'd have put the new version on this, it looked a bit too shiny and wouldn't have matched the guitar. So fits perfectly with new and old style guitars. The traditional way of stringing up a Gibson Les Paul or Les Paul style guitar is to go through the back of the stop bar and then over the tunematic bridge. Some time ago, a little known guitar player called Jimmy Page decided to top wrap his strings. Now what this enables you to do is to get the stop bar flat on the guitar body, which is gonna create more resonance. Since then, many renowned guitar players such as Joe Bonamassa and Jeff Beck top wind their guitar strings because they also say that it reduces the tension. Now, there have been studies that have been done that actually says that it does actually increase the tension, but for some reason it gives a more slinky feel. Now, for me, the Les Paul has a very, very slinky feel. I use tens as standard on all my guitars and I use tens on my Les Paul. And compared to my Strat or my Telecaster, which have a different scale length, it does feel easy to play. But what top mounting enables you to do and what the Lightning Stop Bar enables you to do is use a heavier gauge of strings. So you're gonna get more sustain, a thicker sort of sound, but still get the same sort of feel or tension as regular through mounting the strings. So what I'm gonna do first of all is to record a couple of things with my standard Gibson tailpiece here with the through mount. And then I'll try and play exactly the same thing after I fitted the new Lightning stop tail.
To me, that's really interesting. I definitely prefer the feel of the traditional way of stringing up a Les Paul or an SG sort of style guitar with the string through the stop tail. As soon as I switched over to the top wrap, it definitely sounded different. Now, to me, you get way more sustain, and I guess that's because the stop tail piece is actually mounted or screwed down so it's flush with the guitar body. So I guess it's resonating more, possibly, but you definitely get more sustain. Now, when I switched over to the lightning stop bar, you get the best of both worlds because I guess the, the lightning stop bar is, again, flush mounted to the guitar, so you're getting all that sustain. But to me, you get the original feel of the string through design, so it's the best of both worlds. What I'm gonna do is to leave all the details for lightning guitar in the notes below. So if you guys wanna go and check them out, the bridges aren't actually that expensive. I think it's start about 60 pounds for the non-age version and it's 65 pounds for the age version. And they also ship all around the world. So if you guys wanna go and check them out, I'd highly recommend it. Anyway, I really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.